now now what are nucleotides so we have talked about nucleosides now let's talk about nucleotides so nucleotide means we are talking about base we are talking about sugar in the first place and we also talk about the phosphate so what happens is sugar and phosphate attach together to make the backbone and when the backbone is made this backbone uh, can uh, give us uh, the strong matrix in which uh, the base pair can stand and uh, make the code stand throughout the throughout the time okay so what we are seeing in this case uh, this is a simple polymerization step and uh, and you all, and you all know that in all this biological polymers the polymerization step is established via condensation reaction where water molecule is clipped off and as a result of that two different monomers come together to make a polymer so in this case we have three different monomers one of glucose one of base one of a phosphate which is an acid in nature so phosphoric acid comes in and here is the base comes in you, you all see here we have the h2o for formation here we have another sorry we have another h2o formation and as a result of this h2 the water molecules are relieved uh, but uh, remind you something that in this picture what we are uh, actually looking at is the phosphoric acid and base are pairing uh, at the same time but that usually don't occur like that because phosphate is paired in the first place to make the backbone accurate then the base pair comes in and attach with in case of uh, what you will see in case of the dna replication system we can see Mm, uh, this whole system is formed together as nucleotri nucleoside triphosphates because why nucleoside triphosphate is needed to make a polymerization rather than the from building from a scratch like this which is shown in this picture we'll discuss in few slide later so in this case what we are looking at the, the bond uh, chemistry is simply by removing water molecule the attachment of phosphate and bases to make a uh, nucleotide what we are doing here is a DAMP or deoxy adenosine monophosphate okay so why you call a monophosphate because it has only one phosphate group attached to it so if you have different monophosphates then we have different monomers and these monomers can be arranged again to make a polymer of dna because nucleic acid is a polymer of nucleotide and nucleotide is a polymer of all different uh, heteromeric things like phos phosphoric acid sugar and base okay here are the nucleotides as uh, uh, the same uh, kind of uh, nomenclature follows in case of nucleotide formation too because in nucleotide formation when adenosine, uh, adenosine makes a nucle nucleotide we call it adenosine 5 monophosphate in case of guanine it is called guanosine 5 monophosphate in case of cytosine because cytidine 5 prime monophosphate in case of uracil it's called uridine 5 prime monophosphate so these are all monophosphates Mem remember nucleotides are monophosphates not triphosphate because some people are biased with triphosphate because ATP is a very common name in biological system you all know that or adenosine triphosphate so always or GTP is another very important thing which is uh, which is another important in cell signaling and all these situations that's why the bias with that the all nucleotide has to be tri but it's not the correct thing we will see why th we need this triphosphate rather than this monophosphates or diphosphates uh, but uh, the actual basis of nucleotides is made up with monophosphates